549 right now. I want to take a look at both our roads and the weather outside and we'll start with the current conditions. Kelly, how are we looking this morning? Uh, we're still smoky as we head into our morning hours. That smoke very dense and still seeing hazardous air quality as we start this Thursday morning here across the Portland metro area. Take a look outside. Still dark now, uh, but you can see some smoke here still making it a bit hazy to start. That's your view of the Hawthorne Bridge from our coin tower cameras. Mid 50s to low 50s across the Portland metro area. Winds are still Still very calm. We've seen little mixing of that smoke out due to our surface layer inversion that has really put a cap on that smoke and kept it near the surface here all across the valley. That should start to mix out though as we head into Friday and the weekend. We are tracking a weather system that'll help to push some of that smoke towards the east sides and we'll see some improvement here in Portland. But for now, as we start, we're still seeing thick smoke and hazardous air in Portland, Vancouver, down through Salem, and unhealthy air in Eugene. And and for many spots out towards the Columbia River Gorge and in eastern Oregon, even out towards the coast, there are still pockets of unhealthy air as well. So again, that smoke is still going to be around as long as those fires continue to burn here. An air quality alert still in place until noon today. It does expire. We are expecting improvement by the time we hit late tonight into Friday, but I do expect the majority of today will likely stay fairly smoky here, uh, mainly around Portland and for spots around the foothills where those fires are still burning out in Marion and Clackamas counties. So here's the weather system that we've been tracking. It's a large upper level trough that's still churning away here in the uh, Pacific, but as we head our way into tonight, the system will slowly, very gradually start to work inland here and push out that high pressure uh, that has been keeping that inversion in place and that smoke settling here at the surface. So this system is what is going to bring us some improvement as we head towards Friday in the weekend, although the system is working in very slowly. It's been sitting out over the ocean for the past three to four days. So moving into tonight, we'll start to see our first wave of moisture from this low system that'll work in. Here's our future cast. As you can see, today will stay mainly dry possibly a few scattered showers out towards the foothills and even out towards the coast uh, that may spread inland here as that system works in. But going into today, we'll keep it mainly foggy. It's this afternoon and evening. We have some concerns here for some severe thunderstorms. So the system will be a very strong one that works in. We'll see those bands of moisture working in and a lot of energy too. So uh, with all that energy, we could see thunderstorms developing heading into our uh, evening time throughout the overnight hours into Friday morning. Take a look by 5 a.m. Friday, this model is showing some active thunderstorms right in those areas that have been burned by the wildfires. So as we move our way into tonight through tomorrow morning, we could be dealing with very active weather uh, that may include some thunder and lightning, also some damaging wind and hail within those severe storms and also heavy downpours. So with that in place here, take a look. It's right in the area where those wildfires have burned a lot of timber in the forest. So we may see some flash flooding with those heavy downpours and those systems or those uh, storms. I mean, rolling on through here. So there is a flash flood watch now in place tonight at 5 p.m through early in the morning on Friday, where we could see the again, those storms developing and rolling through right over those areas that have been burned. So that's a new concern that we'll have going into Friday. Tomorrow morning could be a very active start here with thunderstorms. Again, today will will remain very smoky here throughout the morning and see some gradual improvements by late tonight into Friday. But for now, still expect some hazardous air quality outside with temperatures in the low 70s. Carly. Well, we're going to take a look 